Yes, just flow and flow and flow. <laughs> Big bank take no uh -oh. Back again, back to back, made back, stack the M's. Told him I miss Slim Shady, bag the M. Once he go black, he'll be back again. Tell him hoes that it's crunch. Hey guys, it's Asia B here. Um, I'm so excited to do this video for you guys. A lot of you always ask, even like my close friends, shout out to Tajay, Ebony, got y'all. Um, how I do my hair. Um, people are always wondering, like, oh my god, you just did your hair, you doing it again, or my sister be like, you taking that down so quick, you always do your hair. Yeah, I just found new ways, and I do my hair different ways, but this one is one of the main ways I do my hair. It's going to be just a quick weave method on a wig cap. Um, a lot of people always ask me, how do you do this, how do you do that, so I'm going to show you everything from y'all this is my vulnerable moment so do not judge me because <laughs> this is going to be from the moment i take it off i'm coming from the gym that's my favorite time to take my hair down like ask my best friend tajay she'll let you know i'm like girl i'm about to take this off i'm about to rip this weave off and she'll be like oh lord and i'm start from the back and just whoosh, yank it off and then free at last free at last it's right now hold on thinking about it like and i just put this in so I guess let's get started maybe I should explain how I'm gonna do it first um, but I'm kind of just gonna recap and kind of go through what I did already this is the finished product um, yeah I'm really liking this hair um, if you want yeah let me go through that let me go through that <laughs> the hair this hair is from aliexpress i'll definitely leave the link um if you want to review about it actually no let me just do a quick review right now this hair is not the best um it's good for temporarily curly hold on p.s cindy cinderella my dog y'all gonna hear me talk about her a lot because that's my baby she's outside barking up a storm because she wants some attention so if y'all hear you hear me say shut up every now and then because my parents are about to get home too so she's gonna really get crunk just disregard that okay guys sorry about that and i'm keep looking this way because the mirror's right here and i'm just making sure i look good anyways back to the hair um this hair is it's bum i love it i've ordered from this vendor before i will leave the link as i've already said um the only thing i don't like about this is like you have to put your hands through anything hands combs brush whatever and this hair sheds a lot so um if you want something long term i wouldn't really recommend it um and if you can't really take care of hair like i'm the type of person who will switch up your hair in a second and i don't really take care of my hair like i should like i don't deep condition weave and all that stuff like i too be too busy trying to do that to my own hair like who got time for that some people yeah some people got time for that but <laughs> i could make time but i like to sleep so yeah um i hope this looks okay for you guys i hope i'm clear enough because i i look beautiful right now and i want you guys to see it <laughs> so um with that being said, if you guys do want a hair product that is a little bit better grade, actually no, a lot of better grade, I will drop a link to that. It's called Major Bundles. Her hair is amazing. Um, she's just getting started, so I'm pretty sure she'll probably have some discounts and all that kind of stuff. So I'll drop a link to that. And um, I don't know what else. <laughs> let's get started oh by the way before i get started if you want a review on this makeup look i also did that it was really quick something i just did because i was like look i can't be looking a hot mess all the time they see me and then also i did not do styling of this hair so if you want to look at the styling there's two links to both of those videos one for my makeup and one for how i styled this look if you're wanting to see that so let's get started all right guys grabbing my laptop here for you and okay cool I'm about to start it. This is like a hot mess, but it's okay. So let's go before you guys ready. Okay, so at the beginning, it is me taking down my hair. Um, this is a very vulnerable moment, as I said before, guys. So please, just you know, I'm really stiff because of my allergies, but I'm crying, fake crying for you guys too. So please don't judge me. <laughs> Alrighty. So I am gonna start. There you go. Wave. Hey y'all, what's up? Um taking down my scarf. I usually have a scarf on when I'm at the gym. So we're gonna I should have speeded this up, but my bad. Sorry guys. Well I'm gonna skip that for now. 
okay cool we ain't got no time for that so it's just showing you my ponytail how it looks it's basically just in a ponytail i'm gonna start from the back and work my way forward to take it off so i'm just put, place my hand under it where it's already loose and then work my way for it again all right so i'm gonna go ahead and take this ponytail down because just so y'all can see it a little bit better again i should have fast forward this a little bit but i'm sorry i didn't edit the taken down part yet because i don't know i just ain't do it yet so here we go so again again my allergies are out of there and I should have put my phone on silent. So hold on. That was my best friend. Taking it off, taking it off, taking it off, guys. Um, sorry from the back again. So it looks like I'm ripping, but I'm not. You're going to hold down your real hair, and then you're going to just take off that wig cap. It's attached to a wig cap, so you're just going to lift, 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 lift. Again, I just came to the gym, so my hair is greasy, sweaty, nasty. It is going to lift really easy for you guys. If you don't sweat a lot in your head, um... There are very other options if y'all want more options. I will definitely um, either make a video, answer some questions, just DM me. I'll definitely put that in there for you. Because some people don't sweat as um, bad as I do. Like my mom, she's like, oh my god, I need help taking this out. I'm like, okay, mom, I got you. I'll, I'll help you take it out. But me, I sweat a lot in my head. And that's another reason why it's really good for me to go ahead and take it out when I get from the gym. I just love it. Like, it's just really easy for me. And it looks painful. It looks everything. But as y'all can see, my edges are still intact which i'm going to show you on the video as well so we're taking it down taking it down so we're going to move to the other side moving moving up oh, that's the very end so as you can see none of my hair is really there might be a couple of strands but i think that's because i was just attached to the glue so that's nothing to be worried about. I'm just showing you what it looks like when I take it off. It's like basically a wig when I take it off on a wig cap. I wanted to guys, I'm sorry, I wanted to give you guys a preview of what my hair looks like when I wash it. Because a lot of people are skeptical, 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 oh, y'all know what I'm trying to say, whatever. A lot of people are like very iffy about taking their hair out like this or doing this method. But I'm here to let you know that, um... It is really good. Like, it's fine. Like, there's other things you can do. at oils, all that kind of stuff. So, I'm just going to show you what it looks like. Look at that. Look at that. Look at that. Edges. I don't fleek. Edges is there. Yes, they are. Yes, they are. I'm moving around. I got the conditioner all in my ears. I don't know what I was doing. And there goes the back. Full, healthy hair, guys. Brutal. Brutal. Again, I just came from gym, but that's really water because I washed my hair in the sink that time. So, there you go. And let's get started. Okay. I look a hot mess. <laughs> but this is just my afro. All night. Like, I am natural here. Like, no makeup. This is my afro. About to start my hair. So, here we go. This is the video y'all been waiting for. I am going to add me some leave-in conditioner because I'm really trying to get my real hair to grow and do some good things. That's some Cantu. Actually, let me go back. Sorry, guys. Talking too much. Cantu She Butter Leave-In Conditioner. I just tried this about couple of months ago i love it it's great guys if y'all want to know more about some leave-in conditioner that's a really good one but you're gonna apply that all over my head with a nice consistency um read the directions that's what i did and i turned out really really good um now i am going to part my leave out i leave it about an inch inch and a half depending on how thick your hair is and how much you want it to blend in let me be honest, guys. In this video, I honestly left too much hair out. But I worked with it. If y'all want to know some more details about that, I'll let you know. So I'm going to twist and clip. Twist and clip. Twist and clip. I'm a perfectionist, so I'm trying to get this line extra good, y'all. It don't look that good right now. But y'all going to see how many times I do it. It's going to be crazy. I like to do my part, so I like to have a side part. I'm going to do that side part. I'm going to do it for my eyebrow. I like my side part to be pretty much where my eyebrows i don't know if y'all can see that basically where my eyebrows is where i'm going to eyebrow is is where i'm going to part that so yeah back to the video so that really good is because that's where that weaves wig cap and your leave out tracks are going to be so i like to make sure that's really good as far as being straight because then if not it's going to look janky y'all when, when you do your leave out 
now i am gonna grease that scalp with that b and b baby y'all act like y'all don't know you know you know <laughs> your mama used to grease that scalp with that b and b grease starting from the back and i'm gonna work my way to the front letting you guys see how i am not touching those parts with the leave out because if you do them with see right there not gonna touch that part I'm not gonna i'm gonna start to the back if you touch that part your tracks gonna be sliding the day you do your hair i'm just letting you know ahead of time so see how we just skipped over that let me just show you guys we skipped that and then we're gonna go straight to this side we're gonna skip that leave out part okay again so we added that uh b and b grease now we're gonna add this gel right with the gel y'all know about that uh pro style gel it's like the african gel or something i don't know but you can use any gel that you like this is what i like to use basically the black gel extra hold like again i said i sweat a lot so i need extra hold make that ponytail nice make that ponytail nice soup in that soup i think i see the waves Got that natural hair going. I haven't had a perm since January, guys. So, bear with me. You're going to slip it in the ponytail. So, what you're going to do, you're going to tuck it under. I'm going to undo it. You're going to twist. And then you're going to tuck under, guys. And you're going to lay it as flat as possible. Especially if you're going to have straight hair, you want to lay it as flat as possible. I have curly hair, so it's not as bad. Straight hair, guys. You're going to see that big hump back there. So, you need to lay it as flat as possible. And you're going to add that pump it up. Spritz. Super hold. Spritz, 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 spritz it down. Spritz, 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 spritz it down. Yeah. Okay, guys. So I'm gonna add my wig cap. Um, sorry. I'm gonna add that wig cap, guys. Um, I'm weird. I think I got it from my mom. OCD. So I'm gonna do the inside. Make sure it's turned on the right side out. Showing you that wig cap. Spreading it open. And then I'm gonna apply it to my head. And then we're gonna put it on that line that you parted. We don't want it to go over that line. It's right there perfect perfecto that's not too hard guys i don't think so we're gonna add some more spritz spritz it down we're not gonna spray your leave out guys everything but your leave out and we're gonna blow dry it i blow dry about five to ten minutes depending on how dry we want it and we want it pretty pretty dry i don't have to do it too dry because i know i've done it long enough to where i can dab add some but y'all want to make sure it's really dry so probably about 10 minutes on high showing you that basically wig that i just took off we're going to find which sides are the right sides which on the left and what's the right it's pretty not that complicated until you start taking it apart and you're just like oh shit but um i'm gonna get that bottom my bottom's really nappy because i came from the gym and it's a little sweaty and nappy so i'm gonna brush it out and then once we brush it out, we're going to add some of that 30 second glue, baby. Come on, super hole, pear bun glue. Even my fellas know about it because I know. You're going to add it to that track right there. And then precisely. And then we're going to add it to the back, guys. Once we add that first track, we're just going to keep moving up. We're going to take the second one and add that one as well. Oh, forgot to blow dry. Blow dry it for you guys. If your hair is not dry enough, you might want to blow dry that track as well. And then we're going to just keep adding and adding and adding until we reach the crown, guys. Look at that. Speedy gonna draw this. So this on average actually takes about 35, 45 minutes for me. But if you guys want to be extra precise, it might take like an hour, an hour and a half for you guys. And my family's home, so get ready for the commotion. A few moments later. A few inches later. Two hours later. One eternity later. All right, guys, you guys actually won't believe what just happened. But I actually had to go to work. So that was at like 7 when I was filming the first half. And it is 11.20 <laughs> now. Everyone sleep though. Hopefully Cinderella doesn't get all crazy and stuff. But I'm going to try and start where I was at. Um, 
yeah so let's get back to that after that big interruption that was crazy <sighs> i'm actually really tired but it's okay we're gonna keep it moving all right guys ready yeah all right so like i said we're gonna do the crown work your way to the top until you are getting to that front part where you're gonna want this bang action going when you get to that bang action you're gonna start laying them on that on that um part on top of your lead out right there yes and then you just keep stacking them on the way out this is actually um called a coat this is it's like a quick weave method i forgot what this method uh, um invisible part method it's actually an invisible part method but we're just gonna leave leave out with it i like this method because my hair is really thin so sometimes it's hard to cover tracks i just go straight along the line of your hairline so i came up with doing this because when i stack the hair on top of each other i don't need to leave as much leave out and it covers the tracks really well so that's why i do it like this guys just in case you were running all right so once we get to start stacking i kind of cannot see where that line is anymore so what we're going to do is going to take the very front and then we are going to cut it we're not going to cut that line though guys so watch carefully we're just going to cut the actual cap part not the trim so that could still be tight i'll still be holding onto my head but we can also see that line it's a good method i know guys <laughs> just kidding make sure you don't cut your hair though because baby been nerd on it and yeah i need some new scissors those are kind of dull but we're working with it we're working with it and i really cannot see in my room guys so pardon that but we're just gonna keep cutting and my mom's interrupting because someone always wants to interrupt me so that's okay i'm making this work for you guys and myself she fast forward through that she wanted me to go somewhere with her guys irritated <laughs> Ma, if you watch this, that's what happened when you left. Alrighty, guys. And we're just going to continue to close that crown. Working. Just keep getting to where you're getting back to the back of this part back here. Okay, y'all? Working, working, working. I just kind of stack how I feel sometimes. I like this stack sometimes. Most of the time, I like this stack because I can just maneuver it. That's what I like about quick weaves. You can kind of just maneuver it once. You do like a sew in. Once you sew that mug in, once you braid it, there's nothing you can really do. You just kind of have to start all over. So I prefer <laughs> a quick weave because I want to change it in like two seconds. Like, oh, I did this. Don't like it. Let's move to something else. But as you can see, just closing the top, guys. Closing, closing. And I'm getting to the very top. I just kind of want y'all to see as I close what I'm doing. It's not too hard, guys. It really isn't. That's why I love this method. We get close to the center. Really might be a little complicated. A little couple more tracks for you. I don't know if I can hear the music, but I'm listening to music. Okay, so this is where the difficulty is going to happen, guys. Since we're getting to that top right here, I want to make sure I didn't have enough room to keep going, like stacking. I'm gonna do my, I didn't have enough room to keep stacking on top of each other like this to where it eventually closes. I actually ended up doing a circle. So what we're going to do in that circle is we're going to add like some closure pieces so how you add closure pieces um i don't have a track but i showed it in the video so it's good you're gonna wrap the track around like a circle i don't think i showed it good enough so i still want to show you guys so 
one second. Okay, so of course you wouldn't use this big of a piece, but this is what I had. So you'll probably use like half of this and you're going to wrap it as so. Something like that. And then you're going to just put that glue on there and it's going to stay like that. It would stay like that. And then you're just going to place where um, you're kind of um, mending to that part, like in the, at the end of that part. What this is going to do is it's going to help lay down and cover the rest of the tracks that are already there. So that if you're here, like I said, when you're stacking on top, it's easier. It covers those tracks and it's easier for your real hair to cover those tracks because my hair is really thin and I like to do that. Um, like the stacking method unfortunately i didn't get the stack back here so instead of stacking we're going to just wrap it and so therefore if i once you wrap it if you're adding it like this you're not going to be able to see that track it's just going to lay over the other tracks and then your real hair is going to lay over that way easier than your real hair laying over a track that's just like that i don't know if that made any sense but it's going to be shown on the video once I get it covered. I know it sounds crazy, but it actually is a better method than just laying the track there and trying to get your hair to cover it. Now, if you got some really thick hair like me, um, now that I haven't really permitted in a while, it's a little bit thicker. It's still not thick enough to my standards. Now, if you have really thick hair that covers tracks really easily, then I guess you don't have to do the roll. You could just leave it the crown how I did it. If you want to add one more track, then you're good. But... If you want some real good coverage, do the whole closure method. And you can kind of just, as you can see, I'm wrapping, I'm putting some glue on it. And then we're adding it to one side where you can still see the track. So it's going to be that top, or sorry, that top one. So right here. I'm going to get one more, add it on this side so I can cover that. Press it down. Yes, baby. We are good. We're good. Now, at this moment, if y'all still have some hair that um, it's kind of loose, you can go ahead and blow dry everywhere just to make sure everything's still blow dry. I didn't really need to because I was good and I'm starting to be in a rush now that my mom was waiting on me to go somewhere. So, what you're going to do, blow dry for like five more minutes just to make sure it's all in there tacked full. So, if you guys remember, we still left that band. Now we're just going to cut that band. You're going to cut it at each track. Making sure again not to cut your real hair because again, been there, done that. Yes. <laughs> and I have witnesses. <laughs> yeah, it's cut. And cut. Now because um, we glued on the actual band, you might have to touch up that under that band, the glue under that band, um, if it's coming up a little bit. But that won't damage your hair. Just put like a little dab, press it down, blow dry it a little bit, and you're good to go. But just a dab, guys. You don't need a lot. I always test my glue before I also apply it to my hair because if you don't, sometimes the whole glob will come out, and then you can just you can use a napkin to get it out. But it's rather just go ahead and test it on something plastic, a plastic surface because you don't want to do like wood or cloth cloth it's not going to come out of cloth so make sure you guys have on clothes you don't really care about as well when you're doing your hair alrighty so we've added that little dab We're just pressing it down so to make sure it's dry taking those clips out to see the full effect and this is what it looks like guys before I add that leave out and then we're going to take our leave out Cover those tracks, make sure it's good how I like it or how you guys like it. And then that is it, guys. Yes, that is it. So, if you guys liked that video, please like, comment, subscribe. Um, all my supporters out there, my friends, and everything. I hope this really helps. Um, I also 
did not like how much hair I left out. I left out way too much hair. I never do that really, honestly. Sometimes I leave out not enough. So if you guys want to see how I just added a few tracks at the front, let me know. Basically, just cut some up out at the front and we were good to go, honestly. Um, I love the Shaka Khan look. <laughs> But that's not the look I was going for. I was going for something like this, more of a wet, wavy, summertime, just got out of the pool, the beach, whatever type of look. If you're wanting to see how I did that, make sure you check out the link below. Um, that's going to be how I just styled my hair. And I think you guys might like it. It's really easy, really quick. And like, it should take you no time. Again, if you want to check out this makeup look. <laughs> um that link is below as well hair length um and that's basically it um again don't forget my line purple ice boutique is coming out and i will be looking for future um designers and if you have a line let me know hit me up because i will be collabing with some more people really soon um that's really it I guess we out. We out. We out. <laughs> Bye, guys.